everyone, and welcome to the Sanya Faruqi Show. I am thrilled to introduce you to our new series called Women for Press Freedom. And today is the first episode, and joining us is Elena Pasquini. She's a foreign affairs journalist specialized in international relations, development, and humanitarian interventions. She's also a contributor to various Italian and international news outlets. What kind of challenges did you face while you were reporting from DRC? Tell us a little about the kind of stories you worked on and the people you were interviewing. And how safe was it for you to be on the ground? Did you get support from local journalists? For me, the main challenge uh, in a conflict environment such as the one in DRC is uh, to navigate the complexity of the area. Uh, the risk of reporting from a conflict zone is not just a physical is just not just a question of safety impunity is um it's the problem of that area it's a big problem of that area we have crimes committed 30 years ago uh, which is still need to be uh, understood so impunity is a, a very big issue in the area for all the different crimes for the human rights abuses which are reported um, from fighters, from militias. Um, you were based out of DSC around the time when the Italian ambassador was killed in February along with two other people in the attack in the east of DRC. And you've also interviewed him. So tell us a little about what happened and also about your conversation with him before he was killed. Uh, I was in Kinshasa when he was killed. Uh, they were killed and um, I travel along the same route with the same convoy just a few days before in that area. Uh, you need to uh, rely on, on the stuff you have on the ground, they know the situations, they are aware about who, uh, who, ha uh, who the people you are meeting are um, and how to, you have to a change your behavior, talk with them or not to talk. Usually you don't talk to anyone, it's just a local journalist that talk with the people you meet. Uh, we are in an interconnected world. So if I publish anything in Italy, even if it's in Italian or in French, this story uh, will be, um, will go around in every country and in DRC as well. 